Hello everybody, and uh, it is late on Sunday. Um, I usually make these videos in the morning, uh, but for some reason today I just couldn't get going. Um, and didn't find anything this weekend uh, for, for selling. I, I found a Xylus um, <laughs> salad spinner for $3. Um, because uh, three years ago when I moved to this particular town, I had a big one and I had a small one and I hated them both. Um, so I got rid of them and finally uh, got Milo Stop. He's pushing the, uh, the laptop cover here. Um, the cat that is heard but never seen. Do you want to get seen on, ca on camera, Milo? Come here. No? Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to show you what my hair looks like anyway. Milo. Had a boy. Milo is going to turn 10 on June 25th. And that spot right there is actually a, almost an exact heart shape. Um, unfortunately, his sister died in August of last year uh, due to a horrendous accident, which I think I've mentioned before. Um, and he's, uh, uh, since then, he's been very, of course, clingy. And, uh, uh, you know, he's got no one else but me. So um, I am going to get a backpack, I think, for cats. Anyway, last weekend, I went to, just across the street, there was a pawn shop. And I hadn't been in there since I moved here three years ago. Um, and there were two things I bought. One, I don't know if, I, well, I'll show it to you. Um, it, it, one is this Rose Bowl, American Brilliant Rose Bowl. Have not been able to find uh, out what the pattern is. And Rose Bowls, on the whole, um, are not overtly or overly popular. But this caught my eye, These, this banding across here. Now, for those of you who don't know what American Brilliant is, uh, it is American hand-cut glass, and the industry went from about the 1850s to 1917, 1918. Uh, some say 1914 at the beginning of the uh, World War I. Uh, but that doesn't make sense. Logically, we weren't in the war until very late 1917. Um, this is a beautiful example. I would not have bought it were it not for this banding, which is all hand cut and etched. Now, if you look back at this, this is cool. And maybe you can't see this on... on uh, on the camera, but this cut of glass here, above and below, um, when you're looking at it, it looks almost like a silver band. Um, the flowers are 16 petals here, and um, I didn't count the inner, um, I guess that would be stamen, I guess, and the edge. Now, a lot of people automatically dismiss this as, excuse me, meaning that it's European it is not necessarily the case. And uh, it is not marked, unfortunately. It is heavy, of course. And look at the inside of that. So this will be listed. Um, this is very unusual. I wish I, I could find um, the actual pattern and the maker. Um, it's just, you know, with certain things, I can't hold on to everything, you know, and find out exactly uh, who, what, where, why, and how. Uh, it, I, I would just be over inundated with uh, stuff that is not listed. Um, this, however, and I remember the pattern, I don't remember the maker, is Dianthus, this uh, American Brilliant Pitcher. 
Um, it's difficult to see, of course, crystal. But you can see the dianthus flower here, I hope. Or is that the butter? No, that's the flower. And then over here is the butterfly etched. Now remember, this is hand cut. Now by hand cut, what they mean is that um, they did this on wheels. So they marked off um, either, uh, well, a blank with uh, magic marker, not magic marker, but you know, ink, some sort of wax pen with the design, and then followed that design, cutting this on a wheel. So in the 1850s, of course, I think that meant a foot pedal wheel, and later on, an electric wheel. Um, this one does have clear marks of use on the bottom, which is not a surprise for something that's at least 100 years old. Um, over 100 years old. So uh, if you think, that, oh, and by the way, that bowl, uh, somebody said she estimates that's around the very late period of 1917, 1918. This um, is beautiful. It's got a double um, imprint on the handle and there are no chips no cracks there is some well am I correct eh, maybe a little flea bite around the edge here and the edge uh, of the bottom base obviously I said before has some wear on it which is not a surprise um, you're not supposed to hold these by the handle which seems nonsensical uh, but I if you do use these um, you just hold the handle and support the base so that this being as old as it is uh, and it's applied doesn't snap off apparently uh, that can happen it's never happened to me um, but here you go this is a, a beautiful picture um, and there will be pictures posted uh, tonight for both of these now, the, th the other thing I, I got from the pawn shop is a piece of artwork. It's not going to be easy to see because the, the glass is cracked and it was taped over, but it was taped over in clear glass. Let me go get that for you. don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Um, it's filthy because I, I was supposed to take out the glass today and I just decided, you know what, where am I going to put the print without the glass? So let's not mess with it right now. This is called Three Waiting Number Two. Um, and I know you're not going to be able to see enough here. But I think that if you look closely, within the three people are more people. It's an incredibly complicated piece of uh, an etching. And it was done by Jack, um, what's his last name? Kovach. Uh, born in 1929 and died in 2012, I believe. Lived locally here in Connecticut in Westport. Um, born in California. And it's a very large piece, as you can see. And it's called an etching, is it etching? Three waiting number two, intaglio and engraving. Um, his bio is on the back. Which you can see. He is not world famous, um, but he is a noted Connecticut artist, or was, taught at the University of Bridgeport when, uh, back in the day, in the 70s, I think and uh, uh, Fairfield, Connecticut. And so he was in the artist's community. West, Westport, Connecticut um, is where Paul Newman was, lived, and many, many in the artistic writing, acting, theater, film community uh, back in the heyday, uh, 40s, 50s, 60s, and uh, into the 70s, and still is, still is, but, and it's a very quiet community. But this is a, a fascinating piece of artwork um, not everybody's style, not everybody's taste, 
it's um, it's one of those artworks where you you're gonna have to really look at it and see if you appreciate it um, because right off the bat it, it looks rather dark um, in further research I found that he did um, study of the human body uh, anatomy uh, which most uh, artists do a basic study of but I, I, apparently he delved further into it um, and in this uh, you see other forms beyond these three. So it's a fascinating piece of artwork. It's very complicated and um, I, I would assume it's quite complicated to have produced and drawn. So this is um, <laughs> uh, the frame and the glass are, are I mean the frame is fine. I, I hate these but I don't hate them at the same time these kind of 70s uh, frames. This was done this, the back of the bio was printed in July of 1981, so yeah, I'm, this is 70s, 80s kind of framing, um, and uh, the frame is fine, um, but I'm not sure uh, whether or not I will sell it with the frame since the glass is broken. Um, I may actually replace the glass. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, a set of something else that I've been holding on to from a friend of mine and I have not listed it for months and here it is well, here, here they are um, these are what's called Persian miniatures um, now <sighs> depicting uh, through research, and I don't know if this is true or not, somebody from Persia or the uh, the area, uh, what's Persia now? Turkey? Um, forgive me for not knowing my history and geography in one, uh, would depict certain scenes in very well-known poems. Um, these can be rather uh, dark, uh, as there are people being hatcheted to death. Um, and this is not many of the expensive ones are hand painted this is printed this is i took these one of them out uh, of the frame it is on silk um, there are three panels here all one terribly framed terribly framed the frame is very um, wonky well i mean it's black bamboo kind of uh, uh, thing but there's just absolute somebody slapped it in here you can see the edge of the fabric here and it's got a couple of strings coming off it. It's just terribly framed. Very, very cheaply done. And somebody actually had the nerve to put their name on it. Uh, Murray Calm in New Haven. Um, yikes. So I, I would not want my name on this framing job, that's for sure. So here's a panel of, of one framing job with three panels that are attached. And there are actually four more but I think there's a repeat in here. Uh, let me just make sure. The, yeah, the one that's the frame broke uh, is there's a copy of it in the, the large framing. And so these other ones are all different. The framing is much better. I'm sorry there are not, um, you know, you're not gonna be able to see well um, the scenes up here and, and what this says up here I think this is in Farsi um, yes Farsi um, and printed and yeah you know they're cool they are definitely cool but they are printed they are not hand painted um, might as well get off of that come on off um, one two and three. That's a lovely scene. Um, but they tell a story and it would take some research to find out <clears throat> uh, what 
poem they're talking about and whether I'm assuming most of these are from religious poetry perhaps or historical poetry um, you know a holy war of some sort um, perhaps not I don't know um, and that's not meant to be prejudicial at all uh, they're beautiful and Persia was a great empire and uh, you know, there it is the color scheme is great the, the turquoise the aqua the gold um, the white uh, so that's that's what we've got here um, if you have any questions or comments please comment please like um, and subscribe to my channel I am rather laid back I don't like to uh, I guess what's the word I don't know I don't have a gimmick <laughs> um, you know I, I don't have the time to act um, and, and entertain per se other than being myself so I hope you like my channel I hope you like the stuff if you don't you know it's a it's a catch as catch can every week really and there's the baked potato going off. So with that said, I'm going to have my leftover roast beef, my baked potato, and you have a wonderful week ahead. Bye-bye.